Here we go. They say cats have nine lives. Cats climb tall trees, jump off high buildings, land with precision, and defy physics with their unbreakable bones. Yeah, Turn up volume. Turn it up. First yeah. major thing I obsessed about as a hobby was magic. I just got really obsessed with like 10 years old and I saw Dynamo, Magician Impossible on the TV. It was like a TV show. I was able to, I just started my YouTube channel. I really wanted to make one and share my, my magic tricks there and see people's reactions. All the cards I've gathered over the years, random cards from when I was super obsessed with magic. Um, it's a really good camera. I've seen magicians like use these things called bicycle cards and I, I just, when I first got my hands on them, it just felt like magic, like I was, I could do everything they were doing and I know, it was just really cool to experience that and still remember those days performing magic tricks in Sydney one time. I went out and did that, which was exciting. And yeah, from there it just progressed onto many other hobbies like yo-yoing and then got really obsessed with Rubik's Cubes for a little while and then pen spinning, of course. I was into that for like years. Come to the... I really like this scene. This <laughs> looks so much better on the computer. <laughs> yeah. About many things. Stupid diving, exploring, looking for wildlife, yo yoing, a bunch of random hobbies. <laughs> things that people don't do and experience aspects of things that people aren't willing to 
I was incredibly lucky to have the boys alongside me as they also just loved exploring mysterious locations. Take it like moment by moment, you don't just say I'm doing this no matter what. Like if things are off and they don't seem right, then you gotta be humble enough to be like, no, it's not the time to I shouldn't go on the water today. And I think for the most part I'm pretty good at that and that's how I gauge my life and I think um, I'm fine when I do that. We're only five minutes in. <laughs> this is good. 16 I started vlogging. It was just a big thing on YouTube. Hey, what's up guys? Hey, <laughs> what's up guys? Like a bunch of challenges at the time, like the photo flip challenge and all those random things. And... They really scoured all these clips. Just to share the magic tricks initially. But from there, I was just. It kind of just stuck with me. And I wanted to just share. How many videos all did you go through? To find this. I wanted to show the whole world all these random things, and someone would be interested. And yeah, that's why I wanted to do it. Actually, initially making a YouTube channel, I was like. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna get hundreds of subscribers, it'll be big and Easy. <laughs> it'll be great. But no, I didn't even get 50 subscribers till two years in. So, but I she cut that out. It didn't even discourage <laughs> me making the video, so I was just, just wanted to share. These are things that started all, just learning one thing after another, from one to three, turned into nine, and then yeah, before I knew it, I was just addicted to learning weird skills people haven't heard of. <laughs> Perfect music choices. Perfect music choices. The things I like <laughs> about metal detecting, uh, it's mostly just finding objects that people didn't want to lose, that like people value, and it just feels like finding treasure. I just feel like a treasure hunter when I do it. Silver coins from like the early 1900s, silver rings, like pennies and shillings and... You're making me look way cooler than, than I am, alright? <laughs> which was a real shame. You never know what you're gonna find, like every day you go to the beach, it's a different day. Like, it's like a precious thing to kind of find those things that could have been lost forever. But you were the person, the first person to see that thing since it was lost. But it's also just good to get rid of those things off the beach and know that I'm helping out the environment at the same time just having a lot of fun. Just knowing that you left the place better than you found it, it's just a good feeling. Pollution has just gone too bad and too strong in this world and something needs to be done. underwater metal detecting and I couldn't believe it because I've been metal detecting for eight years before I found my first gold ring. <laughs> Kept doing it, it was really fun and got to explore the world that way. Oh, this beach shots are great. this underwater footage yet. <laughs> yeah, it's good out here, so get to see just all the things that most people don't get to see, like 
How many people scooped it? The way like, you transition the story, like, you get it's the water for like an hour at a time. Don't even notice it. It's so really seamless. getting to soak it all in and like actually experience it, like as if you're one of the fish <laughs> swimming around. And yeah, it's, it's such a cool feeling, and I just love it. Yeah. My name is Angus Murray. I'm a scuba diver, explorer, wildlife enthusiast, YouTuber, collector, and many more. What are your nine lives? <laughs> what have you put in here? <laughs> they're so out of context now. They're not, like, they, they're not trying to... What am I trying to say? <laughs> I might leave out the climber. I'm gonna get roasted with climbing TV. I'm gonna climb, really. <laughs> My name is Angus Murray. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. That was... I wasn't expecting... Well, I knew it was going to be good, but... I could I could have never made something like this. So when you, when you said that you wanted to make this thing, it, it had never occurred to me before, so I, I thought about it for a bit. I was like, oh, this makes sense, because I could never make something like this. I mean... Yeah. If anyone was going to do it, it uh, you would be the only one to make this. But, yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> this is definitely the best piece of work you've made so far. <laughs> so far. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, you really nailed it on the the transitioning from... that. The thing that impressed me the most was when you uh, transitioned from different things I was talking about. Like, it... Because I remember when we were filming it, it was just like, talk about this, and then that, and then that. But it all just felt like one thing together. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs>